This is Tyler with TJX Survival, and a while ago, Rooster from Axe Junkies contacted me about a Council Tools hatchet. This is So I have been using this Council Tools hatchet for a couple of weeks now. I've used it almost every single day making fires in my house. A lot of times what I will do is just carve chips out of the baseboards. Um, and all these little chips when I carve them, I will use for kindling. Um, I made a bow drill with this, with this earlier today, a full bow drill kit. I've done wood splitting. I've done wood carving, I've done batoning, I've done hammering with the hardened head. So I've used this in every major task that you would use around a camp for the last few weeks and very extensively today. My thoughts on it are this, it's really sharp. It's shockingly sharp. It's polished sharp. You could probably shave with this thing. That was very impressive. And even right now, it hasn't dulled because I've made all those kits and all that use, I can still do small fine carving with it. So I can still do that small fine carving with it. And this is just a little bit of pressure. And for a hatchet to be able to do basically what which is a feather stick, that's just super, super impressive. And it says a lot about how sharp it is out of the box. So it's very sharp. Um, the handle I really like, it's oval. So that gives me a lot of lateral control. When I hit into something and it rocks to the side, that's a problem. But because it's oval, it will pull against my fingers and it won't roll. It'll just bite and push down. It's got that two pound head. My initial thoughts were, man, that's a heavy head for this type of a hatchet. Um, but because of the curvature at the bottom, you can control it. It's gonna be a little more weight, but that weight pays off in its ability to cut deeply. So it's a trade-off. The way that an ax is gonna cut, or a hatchet's gonna cut, is partly because it's sharp, partly because it's heavy. The sharper and the heavier it is, the easier it is to cut with, but the heavier it is to carry with in the backcountry. I think two pounds isn't unreasonable for a hatchet, especially when I can process an entire shelter I can split wood. I can do everything with this all by itself. Um, the other, the last part about this that's really nice is no matter where I grab, it's appropriate. So it's got an arc to it that matches the flow of my hand. So if I'm grabbing high for that carving that we did earlier, I have a lot of control, right? I can do those really fine tasks and tools. But as I start grabbing lower, I have more control for the blunter things that I'm going to do. When I grab in the middle, I have a lot of ability to completely chop. And when I grab clear down on the bottom, I have almost the full force of that two inch head, I'm sorry, two pound head to chop with a massive amount of control. Initially, I thought I wanted the handle to be a little bit thicker. When I grabbed it out of the box, I thought, man, that's just, it feels smaller than what I'm used to. But because of the shape, I'm glad it's not thicker. That was something that I changed my mind with after I used it for a while. All right, guys, this Council Tools hatchet, I will leave a link for you in the comment section about this if you're interested in getting one. This is a prototype. I don't even have the sling yet because they haven't even made them. But as I get a sling in the future, I will show you how all of this works. If this has been valuable to you, please hit the subscribe button. And thank you for watching T-Jack Survival.